Today we're going to talk about the Caddo and Wichita tribes. They were farmer tribes that lived in both the coastal plains and the north central plains. If you look at the map above, it shows where they lived. They did not just live in Texas, they also lived in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. On your map, this may be the hardest one to do, you're going to sort of draw a box like this. Okay, and then you're going to color it in because really they lived in the coastal plains and the north central plains. This is a close-up map of just the Caddo tribes, so you can see that there's lots of different ones. I'm going to try my best to draw over the boundaries. I don't know if you can see those, but this part over here, this part's Texas. Here's Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. And if you look really close, you can see that there's lots of Caddo that live along the Red River. There's some more that live down here. And of course, there's some in the other states as well. And that's just the Caddo, but the Caddo and the Wichita all lived in the same general area. The Caddo had a very complex political system. They actually had a government similar to ours, if you think about it. They had lots of different bands that their, had their own leaders living lots of different places in Texas. But they also had a main leader that was a leader over all of the bands, which reminds me a lot of how we have states with their own state leaders. We have cities with their own city leaders. And then we have our president and other national level leaders that are in charge of all of us. The Wichita were a little different. Um, there was one Wichita tribe that was a fairly large group that had one main chief, but there were also many small bands that shared a similar culture with the Wichita. So we say they have a, the Wichita culture, but they weren't a part of that tribe. Um, because we live near Waco, it might be interesting for you to know that the Wacos Indians were also uh, a part of the Wichita culture. Um, on these boxes, you need to put the political system for the Caddo in this box and the Wichita in this box. I think if I was forced to go back in time and choose an Indian tribe that I was going to live with, I'm pretty sure I would want to choose the Caddo or the Wichita. They really had the most stable way of life, a way of life that's more similar to the way we live now than any of the other tribes. First of all, they didn't move around like the other tribes. All the other tribes that we've talked about so far move from place to place. They would move someplace, eat up all the food in that area, then pack up and move someplace else. The Caddo and the Wichita did not do that for the most part. They stayed in one place, built more complex and more secure houses, and they had a better food supply because they farmed, which means they didn't have to, when they ran out of food, they didn't have to get up and move. They just went into their storehouse and looked to see what food they had saved from their gardens and ate that. Because they had such a stable lifestyle and they weren't always moving around and rebuilding their houses and looking for food all of the time, they had more time on their hands to make other things to improve their life as well. They're very well known for their pottery. This is some actual Caddo pottery, I believe, here. They um, made tools, and they also made really nice arrows because of the place that they, I'm sorry, bows. The place that they lived had really good, soft, bendable wood that was good for making bows, and so they actually made such good bows that they were able to trade with other tribes all over Texas. In fact, they traded so much with the tribes all over Texas that the first roads in Texas were formed. These early roads were made so that other Indians could travel back and forth to trade with the Caddo and the Wichita, which, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. Now, those weren't highways like we have now. They didn't have um, stripes down the middle. They were just dirt paths, kind of like what you would see if you live out in the country, only probably not that nice. One really cool thing is that one of those roads, the El Camino Real, became a really major highway 
and stayed that way for hundreds of years, even after uh, um, the Spanish explorers moved in. These are pictures of the Caddo and Wichita houses, and you can see that they're very similar. Um, this is sometimes called a beehive house, and if you've ever been to um, the museum in Waco, the Mayborn Museum, you've seen an example of one of those in that museum. And then they were really big. If um, you look at this picture here and look at the door, okay, think that person's going to stand up and go inside of there. So this is really tall and really big. Usually they would make them um, with wood, but sometimes they would cover them in animal skins as well, as you can see right here. So if you will draw a Caddo and a Wichita house in this box. And these Indians were mainly farmers. Now that didn't mean that was all they did. Of course, they hunted too. Um, sometimes they buffalo herds would come through their area and they would hunt buffalo and deer and small animals. They were very friendly with all of the other tribes for the most part and did lots of trade with the other tribes. Now that did, doesn't mean they didn't have disagreements and problems with the other tribes, but for the most part they got along with just about everyone. Now this is a picture of something that's on my list of things that I want to go see one day. Um, th these are the Caddo Mounds. And one thing that the Caddo also did that they're really famous for was they built these really giant mounds of earth. And some of them are even bigger than this one. And they, we believe that they built temples on top of those and had special ceremonies involving the mounds. And um, also there's some evidence that suggests that the leaders of the tribe lived on one side of the mound and the other kind of regular common people lived on the other side of the mound. But these are really cool. This is on my list. I have to go see these sometime. Now this is another side view of one of the mounds. This is actually one of the mounds um, that's in the same place as the one in the picture before. Now this really kind of looks like a hill, doesn't it? And you know, we have lots of those where we live where we just have hills. Those, those are not hills here. The ones we have are just hills that were already there. These are made by people. So don't get confused. Don't go home and go out in your pasture and go, look, Dad, it's a Caddo Mound. We don't really have those where we are. Coming up tomorrow, we're going to learn about the farmers of the mountains and basins.